Okay, I've got quite a few clips from the ZX Spectrum on my playlist, so I thought I'd have a look at my top 10 and do a countdown on my favourite games from 82 to 86. Number 10, we've got Sable Wolf. Love this game. Brilliant colours. So bright. Mission C is you're wandering around the forest, trying to collect various pieces of a puzzle. Why avoiding the Sable Wolf? Really difficult game, but most games back then were, weren't they? It's the first of a uh, Saber Man's adventures that I've got in my top 10. First of a few Ultimate Play the Games, which was an excellent producer back in the early 80s. Number 9, gone for Jack the Nipper. Excellent game. Just so much fun. Allows you to create havoc in a variety of ways. All the time avoiding people and glasses and whatever that thing is down there. The idea of the game is just to be as naughty and as mischievous as possible and uh, get that naughty meter up to 100%. Anybody managed to complete this one back in the day? came out in 1986. Number 8. We've gone for Robin of the Wood. Again, pretty similar to Sabre Wolf in terms of the colours and the forest. Uh, this one saw you trying to get a series of arrows and you had to then go and fight, fight King John. Now, if you met him too early, you would often end up in prison, which was again another maze. But yeah, hours of fun back in the 80s for this one. Definitely one of my favourite games. Moving on for number seven, we've gone for the classic Manic Miner. Now, I've tried to sort of include just one of games with sequels, so I had to get, go with this one over Jet Set Willy. It's just a better game for me. I much prefer the singular levels, and um, I don't know what it is about this game. There's always a little bit of dopamine that gets free whenever you finally manage to get all of the keys and open that door. The sort of the glowiness of the door was just, yeah, just loved it. At six, I've gone for Night Law. Another ultimate game from the, I think it's from the Saber series as well. I think that's Saber Man. Uh, but it's such a good isometric puzzle game that sees you turning into a werewolf. Had a little night day cycle going on with this game. Just such good graphics for the time as well. I think it was one of um, the Spectrum's top selling games. Certainly at this time. Uh, moving on to number five. Another ultimate game was Attic Attack. Again, brilliantly made. So you have a choice of three different characters. Each had a little unique ability about what they could go through. Whether it be uh, bookcases. And the idea was to collect the parts of a key and escape. And that iconic chicken going down. Yeah, I'll always remember this again the colors in this game really good for the time really showing what the spectrum could do at number four we've gone for the way of the exploding fist and to be honest ask me on another day and this could be easily number one i reckon i put the most amount of hours of my childhood into this game and yeah i still occasionally play it today it's just got brilliant moves a little bit repetitive but the sounds, so satisfying, of the kicks and the connection and those little fuds when you uh, put your opponent to the ground. Yeah, excellent game. Okay, top three. So, starting off at number three, we've gone for another classic in Jetpack. Jetpack came out in 1983. A simple design and addictive. It just had... A little bit of everything. It was a little cheat that you could do just by standing up in the top right and pretty much skip most of the enemies. But, you know, where's where's the fun in that? So, yeah, that's actually my top ultimate game. And the last one. So, moving on. Top two now. Uh, for number two, I've gone for Saboteur. So, the Espionage Ninja Strokes or James Bond style game. It was just such good sprites for 1985. I think the uh, black 
ninja and the black enemies they just really set well against the contrast and background one of the few specky games I did actually complete as well okay for number one there was only one game in, in it for me and that was the brilliant school days I mean this is so much fun to play even today you play as Eric the mission was to try and get access to your school report it was just so well designed having that freedom to be able to walk about cause a bit of havoc the graphics were so bright and the teachers just looked excellent and yeah definitely my number one game so hope you liked the video please remember to like and subscribe and let me know what you think let me know in the comments anything you would have gone for differently did i get your favorites